Brussels sprouts is a really tricky thing. You know, there's different methods, but see, I messed up. See, what happened was I baked it, then I broiled it. it what it did was it um, coated it, colored the outside, but it didn't really cook the inside. To solve the problem, ultimately, you want to steam Brussels sprouts. So you, there's ways you can do it. You can use a steamer, or you can take a microwave. Um, add an inch of water, like I'm doing here, like such. I'm going to microwave it for four minutes because they're already brown. Watch what happens after four minutes. This will do the trick. You know, I added about um, an inch of water. Um, we'll see what happens. What 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 happens? They're tricky little thing with the cut Brussels sprouts. I thought roasting, broiling, or baking would do it, but it didn't do it. You could, well, what it is is you can fry it in a pan, and then, um, or first boil it, or steam it, and then fry it in a pan. That's what the website said for Brussels sprouts. It says to cut the large ones in half, which I didn't do, or take the stems off, which I didn't do. Um, I just put the whole thing in there. about a minute left. Put the lid on top. About 40 seconds left. I'm gonna <coughs> compare the difference in the taste here. Uh, Taste should be better here. Uh, we'll find out here. Let you guys know. I love Brussels sprouts, but uh, it's just uh, tricky to make. I thought it'd be a little easier. So I went from baking the broiling to microwave to steam microwave. All right. Sometimes 
just got a experiment. Wow, a lot of steam. Let's see how this tastes now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, man. Mm. Definitely a lot more tender in the inside, softer on the texture in the Brussels sprout. Could be a little a bit softer, maybe. Although I could microwave it for like one more minute, which I think I'm going to do. And it'll be done. Reseason it and you're good to go. That's what we're looking like. I'm just going to microwave it for one more, one more minute. Uh, covered, put a little more water in it. See you guys. Well, actually, I'm going to stay on here. I'll show you guys here. Put a little water in there. Cover it. It's on for one more minute. It'll be done for sure. For shizzy. Shiggity. Huh. <clears throat> Cooking is a patience ordeal. They are better than they were, though. I'm going to take more of that. So I'm going to switch it up and put a little garlic powder in there. Talking about steam. Watch this steam, baby. Stay in that distance. Ooh, man, that's a lot of steam. We are done, guys. You could strain it out. I'm going to show you guys. Pretty much, you got your residue in there, and then you got your Brussels here. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder, a little much of it, but it comes out fast. And then that's about it, guys. Uh, shit, I'll even add a little garlic salt to it. Hell, I'll even add a little red chopped pepper to it. Red pepper, crushed red pepper. You can even add a little cheese to it. I'm not going to do that. But that there you go, guys.